Hi and welcome to this practice. Let's start standing with your feet a comfortable distance apart. Have the outside edge of your feet parallel to each other. Flare out your toes. You might like to lift all your toes, fan them out and then place them back onto the floor. Feel the four corners of your feet contacting the mat, gently lifting the inner arches. Feel the energy draw up your legs from the earth and tuck the tailbone under just a little. Lengthen up your spine, lift up from the crown of your head. And notice how your waistline slims as you gently pull the belly back. But allow enough softness to practice lower abdominal breathing. Have your shoulders in line with your hips. Relax your arms by your side. Find a gaze point of drishti to help you concentrate. So let's turn the palms open and close down the eyes. Feel yourself standing tall with good posture, your heart open. Be aware of your breath, breathing in and out through your nostrils. And as you do so, notice how you create some space between your thoughts. Tune in to the subtle sensations of your breath. Notice how your chest rises with the inhalation and how it falls with the exhalation. And let's bring our attention to the lower belly now. And if you'd like to, place your hands there. So as you inhale, the belly swells. And as you exhale, the belly deflates. So we're switching on the rest and digest nervous system and switching off the fight or flight nervous system by practicing lower abdominal breathing. And feel free to continue in this way, your natural breath. I invite you to practice the full yogic breath. So shifting one hand to your chest, leaving the other hand at your belly. As you inhale through the nostrils, first the belly swells and then the chest lifts. And with your exhalation, first the chest lowers and then the belly deflates. So as you inhale, you breathe with some effort from the bottom of your lungs right up to the top. And with your exhalation, with control, we release from the top of your lungs right down to the bottom. So as you inhale, first the lower hand moves out and then the top hand. And as you breathe out, first the top hand moves back and then the lower hand. Feel free to lie on your back to experience this, pressing the pause button for a moment so that you can practice the full yogic breath. So let's practice three more. Maharaja Pranayam. And after the third one, return your arms by your side, return your breathing to its natural pace. With your inhalation, let's reach the arms up. And with your exhalation, let's bring the hands to our heart. Inhale, fill the lungs. Exhale, empty the lungs. Synchronize movement with breath. A moving meditation. Inhale, sweep the arms up, really lift from your roots. With your exhalation, let's fold, hinge from the hips, bring your hands through the middle, bend your knees as you come down and place your palms on the floor, bow the head. With your next inhalation, let's take the hands to the shins and lengthen the spine. And with your exhalation, let's fold back in, bending the knees. 
Let's roll up to standing. Unfurling the spine. When you get there, let's take the hands to the lower back, lift out from your hips and press the hips forward. Back bending. With your next inhalation, come up through the center. Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, let's fold once again. Hinging from your hips, bending the knees, laying the belly onto the thighs. And with your inhalation, let's look forward, taking your hands to the shins. And this time with your exhalation, let's step the right leg back to a lunge. Stay on your fingertips. And relax the shoulders away from your ears. Open the heart space. Gaze forward. Gently pushing back through the heel, lifting the knee. With your next inhalation, let's step forward, Ada Uttanasana, taking your hands to the shins or to the floor, long spine. And with your exhalation, let's fold in, feel free to bend the knees. And let's take the hands to our hips this time, pull the elbows back. With a nice long spine, let's lead up with the heart, taking your time if your body needs to adjust. And when you get there, take your hands to the lower back, lift out from your hips and press the hips forward back, bending. Inhale, coming up through the center, Tadasana, arms by your side. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, opening your heart. Exhale, let's take a swan dive this time, hinging from the hips. Let's look forward, Ada Uttanasana, hands to the floor now perhaps. Whichever position allows you to lengthen your spine. The bottom sticks out here. And with your exhalation, let's take the left leg back to the lunge. Staying on to your fingertips for height to open the heart. Gently relax the shoulders away from your ears. With your next inhalation, let's step forward. Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, releasing, folding in. Perhaps a lighter bend in your knees now. Let's take the hands to the hips. Pull back the elbows with the long spine. Let's lead up with the heart. Take your hands to the lower back. Lift out from your hips and press the hips forward. Back bending. Let's rise back up. Returning to Tadasana. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, let's swan dive. Looking forward, long spine. And let's take the right leg back to the lunge. Step back to plank pose or high push-up position. Feel free to take supported plank with your knees lowered. Inhale at the top and exhale, moving the body forward and lowering in one piece or break it up, knees, chest, chin. Lengthen your lower back and curl your toes. Inhale, cobra, gently pulling the shoulders back away from the ears. Elbows bent and hugged in. Curl your toes under and press up and back to downward facing dog. So just checking in that your wrists are parallel to the top of your mat, that they're not splaying out to the side. You're spreading your fingers, pressing down through the thumbs, index finger, middle finger, so it's not coming out to the edges of your palms. You're really pressing down and spreading the weight across the whole hand, protecting your wrists. Strong arms, gently pressing the chest back. Your bottom the highest point. So lowering the heels down. You may have your knees bent like I have with being on the balls of my feet. Helps to stretch out my back and press the chest back. It's a good way to stay in the pose without feeling discomfort in the lower back and hamstrings. And as you warm up, you may find that your legs are able to straighten a bit more, but keep your bottom high. So feel free to keep a little bend in your knees. So let's look between the hands and step the right foot through. Inhale, Ada Uttanasa, long spine. And exhale, fold in and release. Let's lead up with the heart now, sweeping the arms up by the side. Lifting out from your hips, press the hips forward. And let's come back. Hands at the heart. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. 
exhale, swan dive. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, left leg back to the lunge. Step back to plank pose, high push up position. Find a variation that's best for you. Inhale at the top. Exhale, moving the body forward and lowering in one piece or knees, chest, chin. Keeping the elbows hugged in. Lengthen out your legs. Inhale, cobra. Gently pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Elbows hugged in. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just pausing here in Adha Mukha Svanasana. Feel free to adjust. As I explained before, if you feel any discomfort in your wrist, feel free to take an alternative pose, Anahatasana, with your hips in line with your knees and your arms outstretched. So let's bend the knees, look between the hands and step the left foot through or walk through. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold in. Let's sweep the arms up. Reverse swan diving. Lift out from your hips. And let's bring the hands to the heart. Inhale, chair pose. Bending the knees. Neutral spine looking up between the hands. And let's take our right hand to our right hip. And our left arm across the body. So it's reaching over to the outside of your right thigh. With your inhalation, lengthen your spine. And with your exhalation, start to twist to the right, turning your navel and chest and sinking. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist and sink. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist and sink. Perhaps the elbow makes it to the outside of the leg, in which case you can place one hand on top of other inch prayer. Aligning the elbows. Keep some softness in your neck. Keep the knees level. If you'd like to, you can open your arms out wide. So let's release, bringing the hands together. Coming back to center. Press into your feet. Let's lift up, inhale. Exhale, hands at your heart. Sweeping the arms by the body, bend the knees, chair pose, Uttatasan. And let's take left hand to hip, right arm across the body this time. Inhale, lengthening the spine, heart open. Exhale, turning navel and chest to the left as you sink. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. So perhaps taking the elbow to the outside of the thigh and placing one hand on top of the other. Aligning the elbows, keeping your heart space open and bright. Send the weight back into the heels a little bit more. And if you'd like to open out your arms. And let's release, coming back to center. Pressing up to stand, and exhale, hands at your heart. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, let's fold this time. Inhale, look forward, Adha Uttanasana. And exhale, let's step back, our right foot. Prepare for high lunge. So feel free to bring that foot in a bit closer. Ground into your feet. And when you're ready, let's sweep the arms up by the ears. Gently pulling the tailbone down and under. The belly gently pulled back and up towards spine. So we're really reaching up through our arms, stretching out your fingers. Let's spin and ground the right foot and float the arms down at shoulder height for warrior two. Gaze out over your left fingertips. Great hip opener, great way to slim the waistline. Claim your power now. You have the choice of the thoughts that come into your mind. Choose ones that serve your higher good. So let's 
Let's lower right hand to right leg. Turn left palm over, dancing warrior. Inhale, reaching left arm up. And then perhaps sliding the hand down the leg a little bit more as we reach the arm overhead. So the head naturally tilts up, but keep some softness in your neck, the back of your neck in line with your spine. If you'd like to, you can take that right arm round to catch hold of your left thigh. Let's release, pull up through the left arm and straighten the left leg, reach through the left arm and take the right arm into the sky for Krikonasana. So again, the back of the neck in line with the spine, the arms in line, left hip pressing forward, right hip pulled back, gently turning the head to look up if that's appropriate, just checking in with your neck. So let's release, frame the left foot and come to a low lunge. Let's slide the left heel forward into Adha Hanumanasana. So you might like to slide the right knee back. Half splits, run and stretch. A good hamstring stretch here. Keeping the hands either side of the leg for support. If you have blocks, you can place your hands on blocks to give you some lift. Keep your spine nice and long and your heart space open. Perhaps you can walk your hands a bit forward. Gently curling back your left toes to have the muscles into the bone. Keep breathing with steadiness and ease. And let's slide that right knee forward, left foot back. Take the hands to the inside of the left foot for lizard pose. So we can stay here with our arms straight, nice hip opening. Or we can curl the right toes under and press back through the heel, lifting the knee off the floor. Going further, if it's appropriate, come down onto your forearms and interlace your fingers. You might find that your knee wants to come out to the side. So you can turn your left foot out being aware of your joints, keeping the knee stacked above the ankle. This way we fortify the pose, protecting our joint. Notice your breath become a bit deeper. Maintain steadiness and ease. Perhaps you feel that you're now controlling the deeper breath by practicing ujjayi breathing. So nasal breath, so a constriction at the throat with the exhalation. So you can hear your exhalation like the ocean sound. So let's release, lowering the knee, gently coming back up, and let's swing that left leg round and sink back to child's pose, resting the forehead to the mat. If you need a bit more space here, feel free to place one fist on top of the other. Feel the length along your spine. Feel as if you're being, your breaths are coming in and out from your, your back. And I invite you to turn your palms open and cup them. I invite you to ask for what you need. What you need right now, what would help you to be more peaceful and therefore more peaceful with others? Ask and we shall receive. So let's turn the palms down, look between the hands undulate the body into cobra or upward facing dog. So upward facing dog, the hips and knees off the mat, onto the tops of the toes, press the chest between the arms, gently pulling the shoulders back away from the ears. Let's roll onto the toes for downward facing dog. Gently pressing the chest back. Stay strong in your arms. 
the neck is relaxed. Let's center the left leg and take the right leg high. Come up onto the toes of the left foot. So let's bring the knee into the chest, hollowing out the belly and step it through. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana, long spine, and exhale, fold in and let go. Let's bend the knees, chair pose. Press into your feet, enough to stand. Hands at your heart. Chair pose, inhale. And with your next exhalation, fold through the middle. Looking forward, long spine. And this time, let's take the left leg back to the lunge, onto the toes. Grounding into your feet, let's raise the arms up by the ears. Gently pulling the belly back and up towards spine. Reaching out through your arms and fingers. And let's spin and ground the left foot. Warrior two, taking the arms out at shoulder height. Look out over your right fingertips. Perhaps catch a peek at your back arm to see that it's in line. And let's lower the left hand to the back leg. Turn right palm open, dancing warrior as I call it. And reaching the right arm up. And perhaps sliding the back hand down a little bit more. Right arm by the ear. The head naturally gazes up, keep some softness in your neck to allow movement. Perhaps you can take your left arm round to catch hold of your right thigh. Gently pulling the tailbone down and under. Let's release. Straighten the right leg, reach up through the right arm, reach to the side and taking left arm up vertically into the air for Trikonasana, triangle pose. Check in with your neck for this pose, back of the neck in line with the spine, perhaps turning to look up. The arms in line. So right hip pressing forward, left hip back. Keep length along your spine. So let's release, low lunge, framing the right foot, lowering the left knee, Adha Hanumanasana, sliding the right heel forward, perhaps sliding the left knee back a little bit more, but try to square up your hips, so keeping your hips in line with each other. Using your hands for support, perhaps placing your hands on blocks for some lift, nice long spine, heart space open. Gently curling back the toes of your right foot. Perhaps walking your hands forward if that's good for you. Let's release. So gently sliding the left knee forward, right heel back, taking the hands to the inside of the right foot. So stepping that foot over a little. Lizard pose. Feel free to stay here or curl the toes under, pressing back through the heel, lifting the knee. Or you can come down onto your forearms and interlace the fingers. Perhaps you want to turn your right foot out, display the foot, aligning your knee with your ankle. Pausing here. Listen to the oceanic sound of your breath. Deep, even and controlled breathing. Let's gently release, lowering the knee. Coming back up to straight arms. Swing that right leg round. Child's pose, resting the bow to the mat, 
I invite you to turn your palms open again, cupping your hands, being open and receptive to the messages of your higher self, your inner wisdom. I invite you to ask, what is it that I need to know right now? Straight leg this time to the left leg, 
and bring left hand behind, opposite arm, let's lift high, and with your next exhalation, let's fold over the straight leg, taking hold of the leg to the outside, or to hold on to the outside edge of your foot. Feel free to bow your head, pause here, notice where you're feeling the stretch and opening, notice it on one side of your, your back. And just checking in with how you're feeling today, how you'd like to approach the pose. Letting gravity do the work, creating, allowing some softness, or exploring your edge. With your inhalation, let's lift the arm up, take it out to the side, the floor behind, and let's Sweep the left arm overhead, pressing the hips forward. Let's lower down. Let's bring out one leg and bring in the left leg. Sitting up nice and tall, the arms out. Let's turn to the left leg, the bent leg. Using your breath, inhale, lift up from your hips, exhale, reaching down the straight leg. And after the third one, let the arm float down with palm turned open, perhaps catching hold of the foot, reaching the other arm overhead, rotate your chest towards the sky, gently gazing upwards. Checking with your neck, back of the neck and line with your spine, keeping some softness to allow movement. And let's rise back up. Exhale, releasing. Turn to your straight leg, to your right leg. Same hand behind, opposite arm reaches high with your inhalation. And with your exhalation, let's take hold of the outside edge of the foot. Feel free to close down your eyes. Or fix your gaze on a drishti, single-minded focus. To help you concentrate and stay in the present moment. Let's start to fold, keeping the spine nice and long. When you reach your maximum with, with the bend, then feel free to bow the head towards the toes. And you can use your elbows to gently press your knees towards the floor. Helps to slow the heart rate, forward bends. This pose is said to be great for bladder health. It helps to mobilize the hips, stretch the groins. It helps to alleviate backache and feel your that opening at your back, space between and below your shoulder blades. for releasing neck tension as well, letting the head fall forward. We've created the space by lengthening before we bow. So avoiding any compression along the spine. So let's draw back up with awareness. Let's 
Let's bring the knees up. Let's do one more opening pose. So tabletop pose, your feet parallel, your hands behind. Press into your hands and lift your sternum. Lift the hips off the floor, so taking on a tabletop shape. It's okay for your neck, release the head back. With your exhalation, let's lower down. Roll down onto your back. Let's take the right arm out to the side and the left arm. And let's place the right heel between the big toe and second toe. Take an inhalation and with your exhalation, let the feet fall to the left as the right hip lifts off the floor. Stay spacious across your upper back, so both shoulder blades contacting the mat. Gently turning the head to the right. Feel free to close down your eyes. Use the power of the exhalation to soften into the pose. feet back up, bringing the right buttock back to the mat, and let's change legs, centering the right leg, and placing the left heel between big toe and second toe, take an inhalation, exhale, letting the feet fold to the right, and as you gently turn to the left, making little adjustments to stay spacious across your upper back, keep both shoulder blades onto the mat, gently pulling down on the left shoulder. into the chest, gently rock from side to side, and lie in Shavasana for relaxation. So if you need to, bend your knees, have your feet on the floor, gently pulling the tailbone forward so that your sacrum is contacting the mat. So that's in the case where you feel discomfort in your back. If not, allow your legs to outstretch. Let the feet flop outward. Take a moment to lengthen the spine, lengthen the back of your neck. Relax your arms and turn your palms open. Close down your eyes. Release your jaw. Relax all of your face. Smooth out the skin of your forehead and temples. Allow the space between your, your eyebrows to expand. Relax all the hair follicles on your head. Relax your ears, nose, cheeks, lips, tongue. Allow your neck and shoulders to relax. Take your gaze down your arms, allow them to be heavy. Soften the muscles, loosen the elbows, the wrists and fingers. Observe your back muscles, observe them soften even more. Relax the sides of your torso, cross your chest and abdomen. Loosen your hips. Let them sink down towards the floor. Relax the muscles of the legs. Loosen the knees, the ankles and toes. of your breath. Notice the sensations, the expansion of your skin with your inhalation and 
contraction with your exhalation. Trust, accept, and surrender. Bring the knees into the chest and gently rock from side to side. Massage your back. Roll onto the right side and pause for a moment. When you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat. Close just a moment more. Check in with how you feel now compared to when you first started the practice. Giving yourself thanks for this time just for yourself. With your inhalation, take the arms up, bring the hands together. Exhale, taking your hands to your eyebrow center for clarity of thought to your lips for purity of speech, and to your heart for purity of heart. Bow your head to your heart. Namaste.